All right, so I finished wearing off the uh, I finished wearing off the back tire. Uh, this is the one with the this is the tire with the uh, tire beads in it uh, that I put in it last year. That everybody's wondering about the tire's got uh, fifty about fifty six hundred miles on it. Okay, and uh, and you can tell I'm a little bit hard on equipment, but anyway, um, uh, a friend of mine I had it out. Uh, I had it out three times now. We put about uh, 1,500 miles on them or so, on it, additional miles on it. So it's ready. It's we done, we done finished the cooking it off. Okay, um, and uh, and a friend of mine, uh, Vaz from Arizona. His name is Video Arizona, but I call him Vaz. Vaz, get it? Video, A Z, V for video, A Z for the state, the great state of Arizona. It's happening, Vaz. Um, he gets a hold of me and he's like, you know, you know, we ought we to ought get together and go and do maintenance day. I'll come to your house, we'll go there, then we'll come here and we'll ride, uh, you know, a couple hundred thousand miles together. So, so, uh, so I'm like, yeah, okay. So, the other day, Tip and I were out, when we were out, finished wearing this thing off, I went around a corner and I noticed a, I noticed a change in pitch, a pitch noise in my back end, and I thought it was, uh, I thought it was probably because I'm, because I'm worn, squared off my tire, okay, and I'm running on the, running on these outer tread. Come to find out, um, that wasn't necessarily the case, because we went around a real sharp corner, out running one of my friends on his uh, Harley. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> and uh, I noticed kind of a clunk clunk, twice. And I uh, and I'm like, oh, and it had happened. It had happened earlier one other time that I blamed it on a rock. Um, but now I pulled this puppy down, and here's what I found. Okay, this is something that you're going to watch, want to watch out for when you get into these tire swaps. I would say on any gear-driven bike. Okay, on any uh, shaft-driven bike. Um, uh, is when these things get thousands of miles on them, um, it's a good idea to check. The width, I want you to look carefully with me, if you will, at the width of these drive teeth in the in the rear in the rear gear. Now I don't know if you can see that or not, but but I saw it right away when I looked down and I'm like, oh my gosh, those things are like uh, are like half gone. Now I think they were they were well obviously they were gone going before, but you know, getting somewhere before, but this is what I didn't notice, and I and I always check this, okay, because I always grease these. You pull the snap ring off, you pull that whole center hub off, and then those are pins, and you can put a little grease on those pins, and it and it it makes them last longer, gives them a uh, gives them a, a non wear edge, you know, because it's running on grease instead of a pedal to metal. So, um, so I always I always do those when I change my tires. All right. But I want you to watch this, okay? I want you to watch this very carefully now. Watch, and you're going to want to do this when you, whenever you change the back end. Just can, you're shaking things down, and you're looking for looseness. Now watch. Can you see the? Can you see the movement? Look at. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, but that's moving. That's moving considerably. Now they sometimes they'll get a little bit of movement this way, okay? Rotationally, if you will, but laterally it is not a good thing okay and that puppy has got that puppy's got look at this can you see this here you can hear it probably hear it okay now I want you to look at this other wheel drug out uh, drug out my parts bike tweaks who's donated I don't know parts to everybody all over the nation <laughs> parts parts for tweaks are all over the country and uh, and Tweaks this has got her heart, so now she's going to get her rear wheel. Now, Tweaks, Tweaks has got this rear wheel, believe it or not, has had, maybe had better care than the wheel that was on Tweaks's, all right? Um, be a number of things. It could be uh, somebody's over-tightening an uh, axle, not putting too much pressure on that, on, on stuff, you know, could, could be a dozen different things, but... But this one has got 300 and some thousand miles on it, and I want you to look at this, if you will, with me. All right. Now this was with care. 
All right, I had her started at about 24,000 miles, 26,000 miles, something like that. All right, now I want you to look at this. Can you see the difference? This is the one that I'm now that I'm going to put in tweaks us out of tweaks. Okay, this one is a high, high mileage uh, rear end, and can you see the difference? Let me see if I can get a good shot at this for you. Can you see the difference? See how square. Can you see how square these gear <coughs> spines, gear teeth are? Look at, look at these right here. Can you see how how square those are and how flat top they are compared to? Just a minute here, just a second. Is this thing compared to compared to these? All right. I want you to just watch this compared to these. Can you see the difference? I'm saying I could go grab a set of I could go grab a set of uh, of uh, verniers and check them but but I think you can probably tell the difference. Uh, these are uh, these are at least twice as much maybe maybe the mother ones are down to a third of a tooth which is not good okay but even just as important as that wear is was what I'm going to show you right now. Look at this and listen. Look at look and listen. Absolutely, positively, no movement. See that? None whatsoever. None. Not a speck. No rotational and no lateral. Okay. You want to watch those kind of things, um, especially if you're going to be going, if you're going to be doing one of those twenty or thirty thousand miles all summer trips or something, headed for Alaska or whatever, you want to get those things. I mean, there, there are no guarantees in this world, okay? But some one guarantee that we do know is that that set of, that gear right there has got a lot more life in it than that gear is. So we're going to choose this one to put our bike back together again. So, okay, do you see what, uh, do you see, you see what I'm getting at? Do you understand what I'm talking about? Are you listening to me? <laughs> I hope this helps somebody. I get a lot of, I get a lot of flack. That I'm an old man that has no clue what he's talking about. <laughs> okay, I'm YouTube. Uh, I get that all the time. But I also get a number of guys. Um, one just happened recently, on one of my, on one of my YouTubes, where a guy was like, "You, you have no idea how thankful I am for your little YouTube uh, blog. You, you, you have helped me so much in just." Um, just making suggestions and one guy just recently was like uh was just i mean just he was just going crazy like i i really really appreciate um the assistance so and it's these little things like this a lot of times that are the most assistant so so if you don't like them hey and you want to leave hate mail that's okay too i don't care but it but if you do like them if you're if i'm helping you give me a give me a like give me a subscribe if you want to give me a like i like that okay it's always nice to get a pat on the back and uh and uh, join us if you're if you're uh, working on a venture, and you're not on VentureRider.org, you're missing something. Come and see us on VentureRider.org. Okay, all right. Catch you there. Get out and ride.